The skin's vital role as a protective barrier is often uh, considered as one of the most important of its uh, many functions. A recent uh, medical knowledge about the skin barrier and its function confirms its importance uh, in the organism protection against adverse environmental factors. Skin protects us against mechanical injury, ultraviolet radiation damage, bacteria, viruses and other potential contaminants that might penetrate the skin, and regulates the penetration of chemical substances. The disturbance of the barrier function may lead to the development of various disorders of the skin. There is an important factor from the point of cosmetology. Although the skin has many different protective barrier functions, it is ability to limit the movement of molecules that is most commonly associated with the words skin barrier. Limited are all molecules, including the water. This uh, permeability barrier function is located almost entirely in the skin outmost layers. Understanding this concept will explain why skincare products do not work. Cosmetic ingredients just don't penetrate the skin. You surely know about the placebo effect. What we think, we know, often comes into play when we convince ourselves that something that is more expensive is better than something that is cheaper. Brand name cosmetic products often thrive on this principle. Just uh, putting a higher price tag on an item can make a cosmetic product more appealing. I remember one research at Stanford University. According to researchers, if a person is told he or she is tasting two different wines and one costs $5 and the other $45, when they are in fact the same wine, the part of brain that experiences pleasure will become more active when the drinker thinks he or she is enjoying the more expensive vintage. In the last several years, the list of hosts and also environmental factors that can potentially influence the skin permeability barrier has greatly increased. New cosmetic ingredients such as liposomes, lysozyme or hyaluronates are able to penetrate through the skin barrier, at least in part. Skin penetration enhancers reversibly decrease the barrier resistance of the stratum corneum and allow drugs or cosmetic substances to penetrate also. The most significant skin barrier overcome is by a combination of cosmetics and electric appliances such as galvanic, high-frequency, thermophoresis or light therapy treatment. Let's go back to skin barrier topic. In this review I provide an overview of several components of the physical barrier explaining how barrier function is regulated. The skin barrier is localized primarily in epidermis, so sometimes it is called also an epidermal barrier. The epidermis provides the primary defense against external insults. Human epidermis has an outer protective layer called the acid mantle. This part of skin barrier is a thin acidic film that keeps bacteria, viruses and other potential contaminants out of the skin cells. Microorganisms that live all over the skin can't get through the skin. The acid mantle protects the skin by killing off pathogenic microorganisms before they can get inside the body. It also helps the skin maintain moisture and combat dehydration. This acidic film is created when the human body combines sweat and semen or skin oil. The skin naturally secretes these substances and the acidity of the mantle is measured by its potential for hydrogen, sometimes called power for hydrogen or for short pH. Healthy skin usually has a pH between 4 and 6 but can vary in different parts of the body. Men generally have a slightly higher pH than women. If the acidic mantle is temporarily removed by strong alkaline soaps, which have a high pH or by sun damage, the skin becomes susceptible to rashes, breakouts and infections. Excess sweating can also destroy the mantle or alter its pH, same as very frequent washing with water, as a neutral water pH is also alkalizing agent. 
the stratum corneum, the outer layer of the epidermis, is continuously exposed to physical and chemical agents from the environment, but also from cosmetic substances during treatment or from chemical agents, for instance from makeup. As highly specialized structure, it is essentially impermeable to water, except small but vital flux serving to maintain its hydration and flexibility. Cornocytes are no longer viable, flat, hexagonal shaped cells filled with the water retaining keratin protein surrounded by a protein envelope and lipids. The free amino acids, along with the other physiological chemicals such as lactic acid, urea, and salts, are present in the stratum corneum. Together, these chemicals are called natural moisturizing factors or natural hydrophilic factors and are responsible for keeping the skin moist and pliable by attracting and holding water. The next factor is the function of the intercellular lipids. These long-chain lamellar lipids fill the intercellular space between the corneal sides. The cells remain connected to each other by protein bridges. Stacked bilayers of lipids surround the cells in the extracellular space. The resulting structure is another natural physical and water-retaining barrier of the skin. Skin is designed to protect also against ultraviolet rays. Partial reflection of ultraviolet radiation is in the surface layers. Biological defense reaction is the hardening in stratum granulosum and ultraviolet induced mediators production in stratum spinosum. These mediators have anti inflammatory and immunosuppressive effect. The most famous defense mechanism against the sun is the melanin production in deeper layers of epidermis. Ultraviolet radiation uh, stimulates specialized skin cells called melanocytes to produce melanin, a brown-black skin pigment. Melanin can help to protect uh, skin against further exposure to the sun by filtering out some of the UV rays and gives uh, the skin a tanned appearance. Thanks uh, for your attention.